somewhere between Vin Diesel power sliding a muscle car under an exploding gas tanker in the fourth installment and dragging a safe through the streets of Rio in the fifth, the Fast and Furious franchise became one of the most important in modern action filmmaking. What started as a laughable street racing drama has evolved into an annual carnival of explosions, stunts, and high octane combat. With Furious 7, the franchise has solidified itself as Hollywood's defining action event. The magic of the Fast and Furious has always been in sequences that take super-powered cars and use them in ways usually reserved for small kids playing with their Hot Wheels. 7 lives up to this grand tradition, with sequences that are comic in scale, yet are handled with genuine sincerity. It's a sort of complex design unseen in most big-budget action spectacles, and makes Furious 7 some of the finest popcorn fare you can find. The effects and stunt work lean more practical than the computer generated, and it lends a great deal to make Furious 7 feel real, even at its most unbelievable. If there's one significant complaint I have about Furious 7, it's that it might actually have too much going on. The cast is loaded with iconic action stars that do phenomenal work in their own scenes, but aren't given quite enough time to really satisfy him. Of course, the elephant in the room is naturally the tragic loss of Paul Walker, who died during a hiatus in filming back in 2013. Combined with the touching tribute that concludes the film, In Furious 7 is a perfect farewell to a talented actor who left us all too soon. It's easy to write off films like Furious 7 as dumb, but more so than most mainstream releases, this is a picture that achieves the goals it sets out for itself. I challenge even the most cynical film snob to watch this without cracking a smile at its wild antics, or feeling something real at its heartfelt ending. You will believe a car can fly.